Right, we're going to go out on another wild camp tonight. Um, I've got some company for this one at least, and we're uh, we're going to get some climbing in too. Hopefully, we wait to see. We're uh, we're waiting for the ferry to take us um, take us over to Swanage, and then we're going to head down the Jurassic Coast, get some climbing in, see what goes. We've got massive rucksacks because it's full of climbing gear and camping gear, but we'll see. Biffy bagging tonight. We've got the outkit hunker and that cheap piece of crap I've used in the past for my mate because I'm nice like that. You see. <laughs> anyway, we'll get there. If you've never been to Windspit on the Jurassic Coast, I'd come down. Hmm? It's a beautiful place. Good rock climbing too. Hi, we've uh, done a very little bit of climbing, a very little bit, but it's been like a year and a half since I climbed, so it was worth doing a little bit. And uh, walking along the cliffs now, which is good. Scattered out a little spot for us to sleep in. Uh, Hopefully it's alright. And then you see, sorry I'm looking at the camera, but see behind, cliffs span miles, which is good. Um, 
the view spot, move around behind there. So we'll get that set up in a minute, see how it goes, but I guess I'm climbing in in the morning. Probably it for tonight, I think. Just, yeah, we weren't really here for climbing. I was going to bring the gear, but silly to come down somewhere like this and not bring it. Yeah, anyway, I'll get back to you in a bit. Right, we've got ourselves sort of a spot scouted out and we've just pitched badly because of the ground here is solid and we're still playing with it, we'll get it experimented just pitched a tarp here, just sort of a a little lean to in case we want to put some gear under it, maybe go under it but it should be a nice night, we might not need it anyway, we'll see where it goes can but try this side Again, we've got a rock down here covering it poles, some more rocks over there yeah, it's not a bad little space so we can get our heads under it if it rains and say stash gear if not. Right, that's tonight's busy bag for me, the Alpkit Hunker. Still unopened to do this packet. And then Kyle is in the Andes one, which I tested out on the Tart Wild Camp in the past. And uh, we all know how that went, so we'll see how tonight goes. Okay. Right, we're set up. We've got busy bags and sleeping bags out. We're um, going to have some dinner. We have ravioli and sweet corn in a big pot, very big pot. So right, I'm using my trusty favourite alcohol stove today, and Kyle is being cameraman. So we can go for this. It's quite a nice night actually out here. We're um, it's not too cold, but there's a nice breeze. We've sheltered from look, sheltered from the wind quite a bit, which is nice. The tarp we probably won't need to be under, but it's there if we need it. So, trusty alcohol stove. See how well I can get it lit today. Hey, there we go. Oh, <laughs> I need the windshield. There we go. Give that to burn. So, yeah, that's it really. We're set up like this and chilling out. Didn't bring any whiskey, which is frustrating. <laughs> a bit gutted, but we can chill out, still have some fun anyway. And uh, yeah, enjoy the night. Try the new bivy bag. Hope it won't get too wet. Yeah, and what do you think, Carl? What about you and uh, sleeping out tonight? Looking forward to it? Yeah, definitely. Not done it in years. <laughs> that's what I like to hear. Cool. All right, we've uh, had dinner. Yeah, there's Kyle. We've had dinner and we're um, settling down for the night because uh, it started to rain a bit. So we sort of, uh, my bivvy's come out over there, but sort of under the tarp, sort of head first and put all the gear under the tarp just to keep spots of rain off. Um, yeah, it's a bit cold, or I'm cold anyway, I don't think Kyle is, but and the tarp's a bit um, flimsy. As long as it doesn't rain heavily, we should be fine. So you can't really see it all, but uh, never mind and the uh, camera won't pick it up. But uh, yeah, I found some of my little eight-legged friends, the, the tick variety, crawling up my arm again. So uh, that's what I'm in for tomorrow, tick search again. Anyway, oops, it's definitely raining now. I can see it all in my torch beam. So we're gonna, I think, have a drink and go to sleep maybe, try and get up early. But also, this torch is awesome for shining on the cliff. And then passing, oh, you can't even see that, and then passing shipping, we'll wonder what the, hell is going on on the cliffs. Anyway, so I won't do that too much, but there's our setup. Apologies for the crap filming, it's difficult at the moment. Morning. It's uh, 5.45. Just sort of woken up. It's nice and bright. Um, it's cold. <laughs> Both of us are quite cold. It's um, colder than we thought. But it's bearable inside the bivvy bag and the sleeping bag. Um, yeah. I have to get up in a minute and take the tarp down because uh, it's soaking wet, it needs to dry in the sun, so I'm gonna have to move it. But yeah, not too bad. I think I slept all right. You sleep all right? Carl's nodding his head. <laughs> so, yeah, it yeah, wasn't a bad night. So, yeah, quite good. A, yeah, hidden under my tarp. So, 
I'll, uh, I'll show you the nice little view I got from here. Excuse me, oh, sorry. There we go, that's what you wake up to. Lush. It's certainly a good spot. Cold. <laughs> On the inside of the tarps, soaking wet where I've been breathing onto it all night. So, yeah. Happy Sunday. Last night's pillow consists of my rope bag. <laughs> Actually, all right. I did. I did actually have this on top, but it's not that bad. I can see why people said they could sleep on their rope. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's all right. But so the top soaking wet inside and out. So I'm gonna leave it out to dry. The sun should be cresting the hill we're behind in a minute, and then uh, yeah, we can dry it out. I might pin the tarp up there. We'll see. Well, there it is. That was camp for the night. Just below this little hill here. Bivy bag set up on the tarp. And then we were sort of spread out each side by the poles, but we've all moved it around now, so. Yeah, it's a good night. Still, I think that was amazing to wake up to. We're not the only ones that camped out last night. There's some people up here, and that was the spot we were thinking of being in, but um, they were there before us last night. That's when we were climbing, so yeah, we picked along here instead. I hope they're having a good morning. We got our breakfast on the go. Beans and spam, spicy spam as well, even better. You ready? Right. It is camping, we're uh, heading back to the car. We're not gonna bother climbing today, we're just gonna chill out. It's nice, it's warm, but we've been a bit lazy. Just go and have a good catch up, go home, see the girls. So uh, yeah, it was a good night. I'll definitely come down here again. Not on my own, but with someone else. Recommend the Jurassic Coast if you can. And yeah, keep being outdoors, enjoy what you do.